Hey guys, so this here bringing you another video. What the hell is going on with the MMR? I am so confused. So we lost the last game of Amumu support, even though it was a really good game. It did show the the strength of Amumu support well. And we've been in like Diamond 1 games today, Diamond 2. I think the Aurelia in last game was Challenger last season. We lose one game and then the next game, what's happened? So like Diamond 2, sure, Diamond 2, but then Diamond 3 everywhere. Platinum 1 with a negative win rate for God's sake. Again, this is just sometimes where I say the MMR in League doesn't quite make sense. Like, it's very odd. Uh, so we are against a Catawin. Uh, vulnerable laner, roaming, unsurprisingly. Uh, but we're playing... Okay, I'm back. If, if there was a split second that I uh, accidentally... Uh, the video just blipped. I clicked stop recording and then clicked uh, start recording again. Very instantly. Uh, you mean chair? Oh, so someone's actually asking the question with Secret Labs. Can you get a custom chair? I do not believe so, no. Oh, where are we going? Caitlyn's not even here. Caitlyn's not even here and he's pinging me. Dude, I swear to God, people ping me for nothing. That was cool. Nice. She should be vulnerable in lane. Yeah, you can get different size chairs. Um, but you can't get like... Like, for example, I couldn't get my Huzzy logo on this chair. I'd love to. Okay, just reminding everyone, I am sponsored by the chair company. I probably should give them a couple more shoutouts. The good thing about this part, there are some partnerships, if you guys have no idea uh, how partnerships sometimes work. You obviously have deliverables as a, as a content creator. Some of them are like, do one shoutout a month, some do two shoutout a month. I have no deliverables for Secret Labs. Zero. They, they just let me do whatever I want. Uh, Dre Hazar, how's it going, dude? Hey, Huz. Uh, from the hospital, just want to say um, thank you for helping me get through some tough times. Keep it up. Oh, whatever you're in the hospital for, dude, I hope it's not too bad and you recover quick. Thanks for the 11 months of Prime. You're always part of the Huzzy Pleb community, though. Okay. What's that jungler? Kazix. Frank is down in NA. Yeah, a few, few people have told me that. Weird. It's not down on EU. Here, Slade. Finally, have my Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, I did programming in university. What languages did I do? Uh, C Sharp, C plus plus, and Java. And I hated every single minute of it. <laughs> I am not a programmer. I, I was okay at doing it, but I really didn't enjoy it. And life's too short not to do things you enjoy. What's the bond of Vladimir's health? Uh, his passive for when his Q does a lot more damage. question is do we embrace the roaming meta wow he literally got absolutely owned also our aatrox died and he has flash up so that's a little bit weird kind of wondering if cat was looking to tp then that's bad that aatrox died already in the 1v1 that's a little bit worrying if i'm honest So the reason, by the way, I picked um, Vlad, for those that are like, Huz, can you run, you know, she picked Cat. I did get to counter pick this game. Why did I pick Vlad in this game? So the, the reasoning was cats generally, as we've said the whole season, don't really care for lane phase. You know, they, they could basically abandon the lane phase and not care for farm at all. They roam. That's literally what they do, which I might do right now. Um, 
And what, the, the thing is, what? She's going to leave a Vladimir free farming in mid. That's terrible. Like, you don't want to do that. So, yeah. Uh, Godspeed, 1991. Thank you so much, dude. Hello. Screw you, cat. Hey, Hextech. <clears throat> she will go for this as a cat ridden. Wait, she's really bad. Wow, she's really bad. Wasn't she a cat main? I'm going to try and get this guy ready for the Lee Sin. Nicely. Uh, Hextech, how's it going, dude? 19 months tier 1. I was hoping the Lee would get him, by the way. Uh, I, can, uh, I can almost never make it to the live streams, but that doesn't mean I can't keep subbing and re-watching the VODs to support my favourite streamer YouTube. I you, you hope you're doing well. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You guys, like... Uh, British Muffin! 17 months of Prime and just says, here, have some Bezos money. Yeah, they're called Bezos bucks. Thank you. Again, I know I said it earlier, but just deep down, thank you guys so, so much for being a wonderful community and helping me do what I do. You know? It means a lot. You know, I'm not by any means a perfect person. I have my salty moments. But thanks for just being a wonderful community. Like, genuinely, I mean that so much. This cat seems pretty bad, but I don't want to, like, bite myself in the butt by saying that. <clears throat> Where's Pike? Wait, what? Oh, Pike. <laughs> that ignite! <laughs> okay. What <coughs> is going <coughs> on? genuinely have no idea but what, what i would say as well as like a, a shout out to you guys and you know and i do i do want to give that shout out league of legends you guys may have heard it's quite a toxic community game you may you may not know that i know i know so it might be a surprise to some people to hear that but league of legends it's quite toxic and the fact that we have a sliver a piece of not toxic community it means so much to me like it, it really does uh lefugu thank you so much dude for the 19 months of primes this feels like the first time i watched your videos was yesterday it was in season five <laughs> thought it was just na that was toxic kappa oh god again there's all like with anything there's which server is better which tox which server is the most toxic i don't like there's always these things obviously in league of legends but all i will say my experience playing on na was lovely like i know some people who are from na will be like what like genuinely and maybe it's really like the, the eu difference i don't know but i played on na i was like this server's nice <laughs> good kick oh i'll give him a two i'll give him two question marks because like that those those are the good feels oh cat spotlight surprise um, when people, like, do something good and you get question mark pinged, it makes you feel good. Well, that's bad. Four people bot lane. Wow, four people bot lane in season 11? I'm shocked. Oh, I see, Carlson. The game was so different back in 2016. Yeah. It's arguably why League of Legends has been so popular for so long. Is it has changed quite a lot. <clears throat> Which again, not all the changes are good. But, you know. 
Oh, you needed a W to me, my friend. Zofo for show. 51 months tier 3 sub. I haven't even played League in over a year, but still watch all of my videos. Like, yeah, that's insane. Like, I know there's actually, a, weirdly, an audience that exists of a, an actual decent percentage that you guys don't even play the game anymore, and you still watch the videos. Oh, the reaction times! That was actually really good by both of them. And yeah, so again, I'm not properly concentrating, which I know is bad for like a decent diamond game, but like casual Vlad dive the tower at nine minutes into the game and would have easily lived if Kazakhs didn't show up. Like, that's kind of nuts. I don't know how that's a thing, but well, why is that a thing? Because season 11. Early game champs don't re well, late game champs are more early game champs nowadays. You get your first item and wha-bam, you're strong. Welcome to late game now. Oh look, cat's bot lane. I'm shocked. I'm so shocked. A cat that spends more time bot than mid. There's no point pinging me, mate. It's a cat. She's going to be bot lane. There's nothing I can do. Just let your Vladimir free farm. Oh, screw this pike. Be gone. So, by the way, the cat was going to go aggressive then because she was. Uh, the Kazakhs was coming to gank. He's got kick if she gets too close. <clears throat> Seems Aatrox has outscaled the set. I don't actually know how that matchup goes. Does anybody know how that matchup goes? Oh, the Q? She killed me when I was out of range of her ulti, I swear. Or maybe Ignite killed me. Okay, that maybe would make sense. That was close. Oh. Do you think the Kazakhs' accounts are bought account, by the way, with that name? Should I check? Again, it's very easy to tell. Like, I once had a conversation with the rioter about bought accounts, and they were like, oh, it's the easiest thing to tell. Like, we know straight away. Like, you're not hiding it at all. Even if it has a normal summoner name, Riot knows straight away. Hey, Mika. I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Um, so, this Kazakh's account. It's level 49 with a crazy name. No ranked history. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bot account. Yeah, so Riot, no. There's there's a bunch of stuff that, like, obviously on first glance, to me, it looks like a bought account. But there's obviously a lot of data that Riot have that I don't have. So Riot actually have all the data about how much you click... Like, you know, like, with me, that I'm clicking so much when I move? That's just what I do. Riot know how often you click. Like, if, if they suddenly see... Oh, the account used to click a lot, and now it only clicks a little amount. It's a different player.
Why does it feel like we're really outnumbered? Like, that whole fight just felt like we had nobody around. But if you share an account, you're not allowed to share an account. If you actively share an account, it'll get banned. Nice. Worth. <clears throat> Alright, we just need to calm this game down a bit. We got that dragon, which is good. <clears throat> but that fight, I don't know how that fight went so bad. It's just, it really, like, <clears throat> I don't know. Why can't you share accounts? It's against the TOS, in terms of service. Any game, you, again, pretty much can't share an account. Uh, this Pike. Bit of an annoying player. He'll never probably admit that he's making some big mistakes himself. And I'm pretty sure we win this game pretty easily later. difference between Kazakhs and Lee Sin was huge. Oh, Vlad is so annoying. Oh, this pike. This pike is poo poo. What? Wait, it's cat. My damage. Yeah, I know. It's my damage and I have one item in a bit. And I'm Vlad. Just wait till you get late game on this champ. It's just crazy. <clears throat> we got this game. We got this. Pike players are the dravens of support. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. This set is one and six. Ouch. <clears throat> Two level difference between the top laners. God, it just doesn't even look like it's close. Because it's not. <laughs> like, god damn. God damn. He's probably dead now. Oh, it was so close, though. Getting Zyre ult for nothing. That's pretty legit. Hey, I'm Broken Lizard. Today's gone good. <laughs> it's Karen. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I couldn't get the Q off. Come on. Come on. That was really close. Boink. That was good. That was good. Alright. <clears throat> I'm just going to go death cap, I think. Honestly, like, I just feel like I can just get away with going death cap third. Which I normally wouldn't. Uh-oh. You have to fight. Oh, no, the E came back. Nice. 
Yeah, the Lee Sin does seem pretty solid, doesn't he? Okay, let's go over to the dragon and just hold the territory. Oh, Lee's making a mistake. Or oh, they all are. What are they doing? Oh. Yep. That's bad. I'd imagine the Kazakhs is going to come straight here. I think we just do this. It's risky because Kazakhs... Yep. That's a free steal for him. Oh, that's so bad by our team. Again, this is the quality of the game. Just doesn't make any sense. Why would they not go base early or have a, a safer base? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. May as well do Barrow now, I guess. <clears throat> Who's the hardest champion in League? Um, I would say... Yeah, okay, we'll do that as the question of the day. Who do you guys think is the hardest champ to play in League? Mine is between, I would say, and... Again, you try to not use personal bias in this. Azir or probably Gangplank. People underestimate how hard Gangplank is to get right. Because he has that barrel mini game. Oh god. No. No, it's not very hard to play. But again, the, the problem with this type of question, it's very subjective to you as a player. A lot of people can find different champions easy or hard. But I think unanimously most people are saying Azir. I, I do think Azir is rated as one of the hardest champions for everybody. Um, <clears throat> but I think also Gangplank is definitely up there in terms of difficulty. But obviously I play Gangplank, so... Wow. Set died to Kate. Well, there's a difference between hard to play and hard to actually pull off is what I would say. Like Ash, someone said Ash. Ash is very easy to play, but arguably hard to pull off because of how basic she is. Good kick. Oh, my ignite got that. Oh, the exhaust! No! Oh, my. Satch. No energy. Caitlin. Oh, God. Run! Oh, oh god, she got double! I hate Gale Force. What is that stupid item? She only got that double kill because of an item. Oh, I hate it. Nice. And he's off. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I mean, I've, what I will say, again, obviously we have the occasional like episode that I'm a bit annoyed in that. But what I, what is also nice to say, I mean, I've been in like a really good mood recently. So hopefully that's been noticed, noticeable. Hopefully being able to notice. That Aatrox skin though. Yeah, what skin is it? It's nice. I don't know what it is. Odyssey. Oh, okay. 
Gonna be completely honest, I completely forgot he had an Odyssey skin. I wonder if I got that Banshee off the uh, or Edge of Night off the Kha'Zix. No, I did not. Level 16 would be nice for this upcoming big fight. Hello, Kazix. God, he's so fed! Woo! He's got one shot. Nice. It's fine. Cat's TPing. I don't know where. Oh, there. Right there. <laughs> right into danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> okay, maybe Zonya's could have been a good idea as third item, but oh well. And Pyko. Nice. Yeah, I didn't. E I don't think I was isolated for that damage. It's just the Kazix just he just does so much damage. There's definitely been, I would say, in when it comes to season eleven, there's definitely been some winning champions, if that makes sense, you know. That some champions that have just overall like done pretty good due to like some of the changes. I'd say Kazix is probably one of them. Five hundred ability power on Vlad. Yeah, that is quite a lot of ability power for Vlad. Uh, trade up. How's it going, dude? 11 months with Prime. Thanks, man. I think that's the game. It might not be, actually. Because the enemy team... And it might be now, because like the next board is 20 seconds. Yeah. Buff Ari. Well, remember, they're looking into mages uh, in preseason. Right, I've actively said they're not going to do much about the whole mage category until preseason. But there we go. That was just a really good game of League, to be honest. Pike died. God damn it. But there we go. There we go. Really nice. Enemy team didn't play that well. The cat made a lot of mistakes as well. Uh, but also the thing of Vlad worked is like we got pretty strong by just staying relatively most of the time in mid. Um, so that was good. I'll give it to, I think, the Lee. I think overall he played pretty good. But there we go. Lovely. So we're at 12, 6, 9, plus 17. So we, again, need to win the next game and we'll get promoted to Diamond 2. And damage-wise, we do the second most damage on my team, third most damage in the game. Obviously, Kazakh's doing the most. He had a good game. Then the Aatrox, then me, and then the Caitlyn. So there we go. How's it going, Vixie? Right, that is going to be it for this game. Just a lovely Vladimir game. Uh, if you guys did enjoy that, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory.